Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 16 inch by 20 inch canvas in front of you. I'm hoping that I have enough white paint left in my bottle to cover the canvas. And I'm going to do something I seldom do. I'm going to try and talk myself into uh, not deviating from my plan. And I'm going to try and leave a nice wet puddle of paint on my canvas. And I'm not going to worry about anything like it going to the edges. I have what's left of a ring pour cup that was one of two and the thing that, <laughs> the thing that I created bears no resemblance to a wing, ring pour in any way shape or form. So I figure if I try my hardest to get myself to do one using an edge catcher which is probably right under here that'll work. So what I'm going to do is, for the moment, that can stay somewhere else. I'm going to bring this back and use some white. And my muse says, just use the colors I like. And plenty of them. Whoops. And don't worry about it. Just go for it. More of that. Thank you. I saw that thing wants to come out of there. Alright, there was supposed to be white next to that, but that's okay because I'll put some white right here. And where is the... I think I'm going to do that. And where's the gold? The gold, I think, is just going right down through the middle. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. I have other golds and other purples. Really? Okay. Well, that's not coming out straight. And other whites. And I don't know if this is going to go the whole the whole distance, but I am determined to do whatever it takes. And I think I'm going to do traveling ring pour like I was hoping. looks like something, yes it does, that does not belong. And if I choose one of these colors to add more to, they're right there next to me, so I can do that. I'm going to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, which I love. And seldom, if ever, do I do what I'm doing now, which is to put paint down, even if it's not a ring pour, it was a ring pour cup. Um, try and get that thing out of there. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. There we go. Throw my tools in the bucket and give myself permission to bring my edge catcher back. Yep. Interesting edge catcher. I'm going to tip all the way around just as if it were a ring pour and allow my paint to go wherever it wants in every direction possible and watch where I'm sending it. And then I have to make up my mind if I want to add some black. Because I think I do, but really the truth is the Prussian blue that's really nice that did not go in my painting. The Prussian blue is awesome as is the gold. And this, as per my muse's instructions, is the perfect time to give myself permission to give myself an overabundance of neon purple from folk art. And if I had some more white in here, which I might right now. Oh, please. Yes, thank you. I'm just going to put it down there. Do we need anywhere else? anywhere else? Maybe a little bit over here. I'll just use up what's in the bottle and make another bottle. And I don't really want to lose that. And anytime I put white down near the neon purple, I have a 100% more better chance of keeping it. So, the colors I don't see that much of are the um, minty green from Color Shift from Folk Art. <laughs> Now, whichever way I start with this, I'm going to rock that edge catcher when it gets there. 
I think I'm also going to pull my paint and let it roll in either direction as best I can before throwing it back on. I probably overpainted myself again. And I'm probably going to go down diagonally for a moment. This might make great leggings. <laughs> I do have added uh, like a hundred new products to my uh, apparel line underneath the videos. Well worth checking out. Christmas is coming. It used to embarrass me to tell you guys I was trying to sell something, but it would be really, really, really awesome to make a living as an artist. Because I'm a terrible waitress. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> it's just been a while. So I'm not getting as much flow as I would expect, but there will be paint on my edge catcher for me to take off and put on the edges should I so desire to do so, and I kind of do. I'll just scrape it off with a spatula. If I want things to flow more, I'm going to have to add more paint. Fortunately, there's plenty of more paint in my smaller squeeze bottle if I want the white to move things or the black to change things. But in the meantime, I think I will squeeze that back on and tip it down to cover that spot I see. And then I'll put my edge catcher down and see what, if anything, is lingering on for me to cover. I think that would be nice. And where is my Princeton, excuse me, my silicone OXO omelet turning spatula. Do I want that right now? I don't know. It had some water on it. That's against my rules. <laughs> It's just not possible for me to do a ring pour today. That's all there is to it. Plus, I also didn't remove the paint that I said I was going to remove. That's okay, because I'm so not done playing yet. And I guess that's all this is, is I'm just playing. It does make me want some blue. Some hardcore, shimmery, beautiful, maybe some of this. Mm, that's not really, yes it is, it is. It's shimmery. That's kind of cool. I don't feel like I'm doing anything conventional by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm not sure how anybody else is going to feel about what I'm doing. But um, I'm going to take my paint, mixed though it may be, and look for my Prussian blue. again. Let it flow back again. Move it down the edge. I really want to put, I really do want to put some of that right there. I'm pretty sure it won't won't dry the way I want it to on the other corner, but it doesn't keep me from wanting to try it. As long as you're mixing more than one color, you've got a pretty good shot at getting the lovely patterning that comes when they combine in stripes. So I tilted it off, pulled it up again, I'm just all over the place. No, don't go flat. <laughs> I didn't want that to go face down. There's some neat stuff happening here. I wonder what's going to happen when I uh, when I torch. I got quite a bit of time left. This was more like play time than 
doing anything specific for sure. For me, I guess it was all about the colors and um, and I always wanted to make fabric and now suddenly I'm in the fabric zone. So <laughs> pardon me while I uh, try and make beautiful things that make me happy. And those are beautiful things. So do I have, what will happen if I put some mica powder in there? I'm not going to be able to, to spatula it out, but I might be able to blow it out. Which I will. I'll just blow it out. because it sells every time pretty much. And I think I can prove that right here with the Prussian blue maybe. Seems like beautiful cells. Let's do a little more down here. Blow it out a little more. Hope we get to keep some of that. That would be nice. Let's do a little tiny bit of blue, excuse me, the deoxidine, the purple, I can't say the word. <laughs> Somebody tell me how to say that. Well, it's, they're not Dutch pores, but they're something. They're blown out pores. And now I'm just composing. Oh wait, I forgot this. I really like the effect the blowing makes because it reminds me of watercolors a lot. Which is what I used to love to do. That's probably not, yes it is. I was gonna say that's probably not the mica, but it is. Now I'm just having too much fun officially. Can I? No, I can't. I can definitely cover this end though. Because that's the color that's there already. That'll work. So what else? And hoping against hope that that will stay because it's because it's in company of some lighter colors. Not knowing for sure, but hoping. It's some kind of freaky galaxy thing. It's definitely otherworldly, <laughs> which is my consistent joke about. Almost done. Am I? No. some more of that green back again. Yep, just doing it again. Trying to decide if I'm as done as I need to be. I'm not coming up with any definitive answer at all. 
but I think it might be time to stop and I'll just use the same theory I used earlier today. If I don't like it when it dries, I'll use it as a background because there's some really beautiful things about it. And you get a completely different effect when you waggle with a skewer as you do when you blow with a piece of medical tubing. I don't have any of this Art Minds Mystique, which is a very teal thing. And I think I want some. And I got one minute left to tell you guys, if you go, if you look under the video, you will find my Pinterest and my Instagram and my Twitter. And I would love to have you entertain you. That's cool. And my paint pouring recipe. And if you're looking for a Facebook group, I have Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students and expression I start studio gallery for fans and collectors yes I saw that little naked piece of canvas and I really like this turquoise over here that reminds me when I watch Heather Matter she often takes a piece of card and swipes some stuff out if I've got one I might be tempted to do that like in, why not? I've done it before anyway. The temptation for me will be to, um, to throw some black in there, to tell you the truth and then it would be to tilt it. So, since I've already annihilated everything that was awesome about this early on, maybe I'll just do that. <coughs> Somebody's not happy. I used to be able to just draw with a paint bottle and be very, very happy with my results. And I could still feel that way, I'm sure. With a little effort. So I hope you guys come see me again. The longer you watch, the better off I am. Love the black. I like the lines. I don't want to go completely destroying what I've got. I know a little waggle. probably make me happy. So that's it for right now, and um, I'm not unhappy. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, please join me again. There's over 800 videos, and you can find them on the end screens of the last 20 seconds of the video. And you can find a contest there. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps the YouTube algorithm know to place my videos in places where more people can find them. And uh, that in turn helps me. So thank you if you want to help me, and thank you for all the compliments that you give me all the time. Appreciate them. And uh, thank you for the contributions that have kept me painting in the past. Appreciate them. And if you want to contribute, please feel free. I have Ze Zelly and PayPal and Patreon, and if you want a Zelly link, that's my email. My email is directly under the video if you want to purchase any artwork. Feel free. I wasn't sure how I felt about this for a while, but now I'm completely in love, so we're all good. Blue that sells no silicone in my artwork. And GAC 800 in all my mixes to protect the paint from cracking. And black saves the day. Black and some, uh, some card swiping. So I hope to see you guys again. Maybe tomorrow. I know I'll probably be there tomorrow. 
If you want to subscribe, make sure your settings are turned on, the notifications are turned on.